Dear students, today in this video, I am going to discuss the most important or very important multiple choice questions of chemistry. आता हे जे प्रश्न असणारे आहेत ते येणार आहे एम एस टी सी ई टी दोन हजार तेवीस या परीक्षेला निश्चित तुम्हाला उपयोगी पडणारे आहेत याचा सराव तुमचा व्हावा यासाठी हा व्हिडिओ आहे नाव दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग एन ओअर इन टू इट्स ऑक्साइड बाय हिटिंग इन ए करंट ऑफ एअर इज कॉल्ड फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन वन इज अ लिचिंग सेकेंड इज अ रोस्टिंग थर्ड वन इज अ स्मेल्टिंग एंड लास्ट वन इज अ रिफाइनिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम ट्रांजिशन एंड इनर ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट ऑन पेज वन सेवनटी एट तो इत तुम्हार लक्षा मध्य कि आउट ऑफ फोर ऑप्शन द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ बी दैट इज द रोस्टिंग सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट from chemical thermodynamics page 87 this is numerical 6.24 gram of ethanol are vaporized by supplying 5.89 kilo joule of heat enthalpy of vaporization of ethanol will be here four options are given but in uh, stem uh, detail information is given here 6.24 gram of ethanol corresponds to 5.89 kilo joule per mole of heat so you have to calculate the molecular weight of ethanol that is the 46 so 2.64 gram corresponds to 5.89 kilo joule so 46 gram corresponds to how much so it comes 43.4 kilo joule per mole this is the correct answer option of this question <laughs> next question from solid state page number 23 24 an n type and p type silicon can be obtained by doping pure silicon with na and mg respectively p that is the phosphorus and boron respectively boron and phosphorus respectively iron and sodium respectively so out of this correct answer option is a b that is b phosphorus and boron so phosphorus when small amount of uh, phosphorus is added to uh, pure silicon it has a five valence electron so one electron is a extra so there is a formation of n type of semiconductor and when small amount of boron is added it has a uh, only three electrons so it creates a hole which acts as a positively charged so p type of semiconductor is uh, obtained so b is the correct answer option next which one of the following is the weakest base ammonia benzyl amine aniline methyl amine this question is from chapter amines on page number 288 and 290 ammonia you know that nh3 this nitrogen has a lone pair of electron benzyl amine benzyl amine this is the structure of benzene and uh, outside the benzene there is a ch2 nh2 so nitrogen has again lone pair of electron methyl amine ch3 nh2 nitrogen has lone pair and aniline is a nh2 group that is the nh2 group is attached to benzene ring nh2 so out of this four you have to find out the weakest base means the lone pair of electron which is not a lone pair present on nitrogen is not available for Are not easily available for the protonation. Here in methyl amine, CS3 group is electron donating, so this lone pair of electron is easily available. In benzyl amine also, uh, this NH2 group is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom, so this lone pair of electron can easily be obtained for protonation. In ammonia. 
three hydrogens they are not electron withdrawing or electron donating so this lone pair of electron can also be easily available for protonation but in aniline the lone pair of electron present on nitrogen is given to the benzene ring so it is a delocalized electron and so it is not available for the protonation so correct answer option of this question is a aniline which is the weakest base among the given next from introduction to polymer chemistry which one is incorrectly matched here four options are given but out of four options one option uh, you have to find out the one option which is not correctly matched now see 2 methyl 13 butadiene natural rubber nylon 26 that is nylon 2 nylon 6 biodegradable polymer polyacrylonitrile copolymer and 2 chloro 13 butadiene synthetic rubber so here Poly, uh, this one is a natural rubber, nylon 2 and 6 biodegradable polymer. 2 chloro 13 butadiene is a synthetic rubber. But here, polo, uh, polyacrylonitrile is a homo polymer or it is an addition polymer. So, this is the correct answer option which is not correctly matched. Next one from halogen derivatives on page 220. Which one is incorrectly matched? When an alkyl halide, that is Rx, is heated with the following reagents. You are given reagent in one column and products in least second. A silver carboxylate with alkyl halide gives an ester. Silver cyanide with alkyl halide gives cyanides. Potassium nitride gives nitrite and silver nitride gives nitroalkane. So, you have to find out the uh, one option which is not correctly matched. Here you know that silver cyanide, AZ, uh, AZCN, this AZ carbon bond is a covalent bond. So, nitrogen linkage is obtained through nitrogen, not carbon. And so, here this pair is not correctly matched. Here isocyanides or isonitriles are formed. Next from elements of group 16, 17 and 18, page 140. Which of the following inert gases has the highest ionization enthalpy? Helium, neon, argon, krypton. As you know that they, as we move from top to bottom, the atomic size goes on increasing. And uh, what is uh, ionization enthalpy? The amount of energy is required to remove an electron. But you know that all these elements have a stable electronic configuration. But as atomic size increases, it becomes easy to remove an electron. So, a uh, low amount of or uh, lower energy is required, we can say that. So, helium is the correct answer option. It has the highest ionization enthalpy next the number of non bonding electrons on each sulfur atom in s s8 molecule r this question is also uh, is uh, again from the same that is elements of group 16 17 and 18 page 147 you are given options 2 4 6 8 uh, here the answer is Answer is 4. Because sulfur, it belongs to group 16. So, there are 6 valence electrons. Correct. But each sulfur atom in S8 in molecule forms 2 bonds with 2 sulfur atoms. So, each sulfur in S8 in molecule each sulfur is bonded to two other sulfur atoms. So, here two, uh, six electrons are present in valence cell, but out of six electrons, two electrons are used in the bond formation with two sulfur atoms. So, four electrons are left behind. Four electrons means two lone pair of electrons, 
बट हियर वॉट इज आस्कड नॉन बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नॉन बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इन ऑल देर आर फोर नॉन बॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन सो करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ फोर सी दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर या पद्धति च स्ट्रक्चर है नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम सोल्यूशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग शोज निगेटिव डेविएशन फ्रॉम राउल्स लॉ पेज नंबर थ्री थर्टी थ्री ए टोलिन एंड बेन्जीन बी बेन्जीन एंड फिनॉल सी एसिटोन एंड क्लोरोफॉर्म डी बेन्जीन एंड कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ सी दैट इज एसिटोन एंड क्लोरोफॉर्म सो देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड बिट्वीन सोल्यूट एंड सॉल्वेंट सो दिस इंट्रैक्शन इज वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉग एज कंपेर टू सॉल्वेंट सॉल्वेंट एंड सोल्यूट सोल्यूट सो हियर वॉट हेपन सी देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग बिट्वीन एसिटोन एंड क्लोरोफॉर्म ड्यू टू विच द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन लोअर्स मीन्स बिकम्स लेस दैन द एक्सपेक्टेड बाय राउल्स लॉ सो इट शोज निगेटिव डेविएशन नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम आयोनिक इक्विब्रिया पेज फिफ्टी फाइव अमोनियम फ्लोराइड इज अ सॉल्ट ऑफ स्ट्रॉग एसिड स्ट्रॉग बेस स्ट्रॉग एसिड वीक बेस वीक एसिड वीक बेस वीक एसिड एंड स्ट्रॉग बेस एन एच फोर एफ सो इट इज द सॉल्ट ऑफ वीक एसिड एच एफ एंड वीक बेस एन एच फोर ओ एच so it is a salt of weak acid hf and weak base nh4oh so weak acid and weak base c is the correct answer option next one c22 minus has the same magnetic property with o2 n2 plus o2 plus no plus this question is from chemical bonding now you have to calculate the number of electrons in c2 2 minus you know that there are six electrons in carbon atom so 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 but it has two minus charge so two electrons are gain so 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 so here total electrons 16 here one positive charge so one electron is lost so 14 minus 1 so there are 13 electrons in case of uh, o2 plus there is again loss of one electron so 16 minus 1 in all there are 15 electrons and in case of no plus nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 it has a positive charge one positive charge so there is a loss of one electron so total 14 electrons so correct answer option of this question is a no plus but here what is asked a magnetic property whether c22 minus is a, a diamagnetic or paramagnetic now see this is the molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen because it has a 14 electrons n2 you can use this molecular orbital diagram when the species has electrons equal to 14 or less than 14 here total 14 uh, yellow color indicates the anti bonding orbitals or electrons 2 to 4 plus 6 plus 8 10 12 and 14 all electrons are paired so it shows a diamagnetic property correct next from coordination compounds number of electrons in t2 t2g and eg orbitals in nif6 2 minus complex are here options are given here you have to calculate the first oxidation state of ni in given complex x minus 6 is equal to minus 2 so x is equal to plus 
So this plus four shows the higher positive oxidation state. And in such cases, the ligands which are attached to the metal ion, they are strongly bound. Here fluorine, no doubt it is a weak field ligand. So high spin complex is observed. But here Ni has a higher positive oxidation state and that's why if though it is a weak field ligand, it acts as a strong field ligand. And so, see here, this is the splitting of a d orbital in presence of a weak field, but which acts as a strong field ligand in case of this complex. So, there is a splitting of T2G and EG. When strong field ligand is attached to the metal having the higher positive charge, then acts as a, uh, then there is a low spin is observed. Means pairing of electron takes place. Now you have to calculate the number of electrons in d orbital of Ni plus 4. You know that the atomic number of Ni is a 28. So means there are d8, 3d8 electrons and 4s2 electrons. So there is a loss of 4 electrons, 2 electrons from s orbital and 2 electrons from d orbital. So 6 electrons are left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Means in T2G there are 2, 2, 2. And in EG, 0, 0. Means in T2G there are 6 electrons and in case of EG there is a 0 electrons. This is very important. So correct answer option is a B. Next and this is the last question of this video. Which of the following is a non-aromatic compound? Non-aromatic compound means first of all you should know the what are the condition, conditions of aromaticity. So here there are two bonds. There is a conjugate system. Double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. But there are four pi electrons. Only four pi electrons. So this is an example of anti-aromatic. Here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 double bond. So there are 10 pi electrons. So this is an example of aromatic. <clears throat> Here there are two bonds in cycle that is the endocyclic 2 means in all there are 4 pi electrons 2, 2 and here outside the ring the pi electrons they are not involved in the aromatic city. So this is an example where it is non-aromatic and in this case oxygen has a two lone pairs out of these two lone pairs one lone pair of electron is used so there are 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 pi electrons. So this is an example of aromatic. So this one, uh, sorry, this one is a non-aromatic. So I think he tumala nishis samadhe lasnar ahe. Thanks for watching the videos of Yash Academy.